Let's talk about non-polarized capacitors. Now, most capacitors over 10 microfarads are used as electrolytics. Now, electrolytics can't be used in AC circuits, and if you need a large non-polarized capacitor, you can hook up two electrolytics back to back with current stirring diodes. So, here it is here. We have negative to negative here on the capacitors and positive to positive on the diodes over here, and they're tied together in the center here. It'll look like this down here. Now, if we put two uh, capacitors in series, positive negative, positive negative, the capacitance is going to be reduced by these formulas here. If they were the same capacitance, it's going to bring it down in half. These two center plates will cancel each other out because you have positive negative, positive negative, so the negative and the positive cancel. And you have these two plates are basically further apart, so your capacitance is reduced. But you're dropping voltage across each one, so you can increase your voltage that way. Over here, what's happened is on the positive side of the sine wave, we're going to charge this capacitor. And then on the negative side, it's going to come through here and charge this capacitor over here. So they're just charging on half the cycle. Okay. So instead of finding your capacitive reactants using your, uh, in this case, we're going to use 60 hertz. I think if we use uh, 30 hertz to find the capacitive reactants, uh, it will show us that our our capacitance uh, is going to be cut in half also, just like in series over here, but for a different reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up this circuit here. We're going to have 60 hertz here, we've got a 10 ohm resistor, and an unknown capacitor over here. Now, what I did is I used a uh, 330 microfarad capacitor, two of them, back to back, and a couple diodes. Now, I put it on the scope. And we want to find the phase difference on the scope. So to do that, we take the time between the phases. Now we know that the uh, the current is leading the voltage in a capacitive circuit. So it's it's how much the, the time between phases is the time between the, the current and the voltage phase, right? And we divide that by the period. Now the period for 60 cycles is going to be 1 60 of a second or 16.67 microseconds. And we times that by 360 to get our phase difference in degrees, okay? So once we have that, I did it over here on the scope. I'll show you what it looks like, but it was uh, 2.8 uh, milliseconds between the phases, and then our uh, period times the 360, and it came out to about 60 degrees. So to get your capacitive reactance, you can take your tangent times your 60 times the resistance here, and it came up to uh, 17, a capacitive reactance of 17. Now. We know that this circuit is the uh, is how we find our capacitive reactants, 1 over 2 pi frequency times capacitance. So what we want to do is we want to massage this around and get our capacitance out. So we take C is going to be equal to 2 pi F times the capacitive reactance. Okay? So if we calculate that out, and if I didn't mess up, I get uh, 150 uh, microfarads. That's a little bit less than half the uh, of the the 330 but uh, you know these these units are 5% and uh, this is a wire wound uh, resistor so there's probably a little bit of inductance here that's going to take away from the capacitor but uh, that's how you can calculate the uh, your capacitance here and uh, so I'm guessing that it's about half of the uh, uh, the capacitance of each one so that's a good way to figure that out now I don't know if I'd use this for anything, maybe uh, an old hi-fi hi uh, crossover circuit. Uh, you know, put that in until you, you get the proper uh, capacitor. But uh, it's just kind of fun to experiment with it. So uh, that's a uh, two electrolytics hooked up as a uh, non-polarized capacitor. Um, these voltages have to be good enough to take your peak voltage, and the diodes are also have to have enough... Uh, uh, voltage rating and a current rating to take that. You can find your current through the uh, your capacitive reactance on the circuit here. So anyway, that's uh, that's a non-polarized capacitor made out of two electrolytics. Thank you.